Well, we're picking up more snow in the yes. mountains and a lot more to come here toward the end of the week as we're tracking another storm. And this one could actually bring a little more snow to Denver versus what we were looking at yesterday. But right now dry, you're going to find upper 40s to low 50s. Nice start to our day here early on. It's a little chilly. It's going to feel like teens and there is a slight chance for a few showers. I'll show you the timing of that coming up. More mountain snow, though. It's been on and off yesterday. We had a little bit of sunshine for the high country. Now more snow moving in and it will continue here. We're going to be colder in town on Friday. Friday is going to be the coldest day of the week and I'll show you the super seven day here in just a minute. 16 degrees right now. It feels like four out there. Winds are out of the south at around five to 15 miles per hour, and it's going to be primarily teens and 20s early on. We've got Centennial and Aurora both at 21. Evergreen, you've dropped down into the teens. Berthoud Pass, over Berthoud Pass right now. We're just at 10. So a colder start in the high country. Winds calmer there, though, early this morning. We'll see those winds pick up a little here this afternoon. Low to mid 40s by lunchtime and then more snow moving a little closer to the divide and then east of it here uh, by late afternoon. So you're going to find some lighter snow closer to spots like Winter Park, Estes Park today. Denver's going to hit a high right around 50. We will see a partly sunny sky, so some increasing cloud cover and then a slight chance for a few spotty showers on the eastern plains. So that could lead to some damp roads early tomorrow morning. Skies will clear though. It's going to be a sunny start to our Wednesday. Warmer tomorrow afternoon. In fact, getting into the upper 50s, close to about 60 degrees. It looks like by tomorrow late day. Uh, more snow for the mountains there and then a few more showers rolling into town. It looks like Wednesday night into Thursday. So Thursday is going to be a little cooler. Low to mid 40s. You're going to find a rain snow mix. That's going to switch over to all snow Thursday night into early Friday. Totals might be a little more impressive. We're going to have to continue to watch the track of this storm, but we may see some upslope snow, which would lead to obviously some heavier pockets along the front range. Colder by the end of the week. It's going to be Friday, the coldest day of the work week with highs just above freezing. But a nice bounce back as soon as skies start to clear, Jason, on Saturday, upper 40s to near 50 Saturday and then closer to 60 on Sunday. This is why we like March storms. While they could drop a lot of heavy snow, it warms up almost immediately. So we get yes. a lot of melting within just, what, 24 hours. And then it turns all into slush and it gets everywhere. 